Welcome to Crema Media's Resources Watch, a weekly video roundup of the events and people making and shaping the news in the mining industry. This week, Southern Africa is now Anglo's only business region not on renewable energy, and challenge of producing green hydrogen economically has been met. Southern Africa is now the only region in the Anglo-American business fold that is not on renewable energy because the company cannot go to a market and acquire that energy in the same way that it has been able to do in many of the other jurisdictions in which it does business. We do remain committed, as always, to delivering our products to our customers in the most sustainable way that we possibly can. And I am quite encouraged by the progress that we have continued to make across all of our operations during the first half of this year. So Kiveco is now 100% on renewable energy. And with the coal business in Australia converting its energy supply contracts to renewables by 2025, that will put 60% of the whole of our portfolio on clean forms of energy. And that's a, that's a great step forward, given where we were just a few years ago. South Africa, of course, is now, or Southern Africa, is now the only outstanding region in our business that is not on renewable energy. But there, we can't go to a market and acquire that energy in the same way we were able to do in many of the other jurisdictions of the business. So it needs a different solution. The challenge of producing green hydrogen economically is now done and dusted, according to Anglo-American Platinum CEO, Natasha Fuyun. Um, I think one of the biggest stumbling blocks for the hydrogen economy was the concern on our ability to produce green hydrogen um, economically. Now, with uh, measures like the um, Inflation Reduction Act coming in from the US, with some of the Euro environmental support, we have seen that that debate has broadly gone away now. With that kind of political support, producing green hydrogen economically is done. That box has been ticked. The conversation has now visibly moved on to how do we develop the infrastructure and how do we develop the end use. Now, the reality is the technology exists. There's more than 400 light vehicle models on the market as well. So there's definitely end use available as we speak today. It's now how we set up the system. And in that system, we've seen capital commitment globally. We've seen how many projects has gone through final stage of approval. And that momentum in the hydrogen economy has just now kickstarted and is, is really going at pace. And I think, Martin, it's probably important just to note that we only need in the future 10% of the car park to be fuel cell electric vehicles for us to match our current demand sector. And that's not a big portion, right? So as we start to see ICE vehicles slowly coming out, BVs taking their portion and the hydrogen economy developing, I think there's a real world where um, the future is really bright and I'm not worried about the future for our products at all. For mining news as it breaks, stay logged on to miningweekly.com and register for our free daily newsletter.